Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper script, I want to make a parametric vase uh, by defining a curve attractor. Uh, here you can see that I can change the location of the curve to produce different results. That is going to affect the shape of the vase. Uh, here we can define the wave amplitude, as you can see here. And this is going to be the wave frequency, so I can change that, increase the frequency like this. Instead of a curve attractor, I can also use a point attractor and change the location of the point, uh, the wave amplitude, and the wave frequency. There is also going to be a multiplication which is going to control how much of the vase we need. There's also a simple revolution. For example, if I change the location of these vertices, the overall shape of the vase is going to be changed. So this is going to give you a NURBS curve, which is going to be the base curve for the vase a revolution. Uh, you can see that this is the base surface and the wave is going to be produced on this NURBS surface. There are also going to be a toggle to give this a thickness. So if I just hit this to true, you can see that's going to convert that into a solid. And I'm going to use the offset mesh component from the Pufferfish plugin. And you can see that I can change the thickness and simply bake that in Rhino. And that is going to be the mesh uh, which is going to be produced in Rhino. Uh, if I just use a clipping plane and cut it so you can see it's a complete solid. And that can be uh, also 3D printed for fabrication. So this algorithm can help you to design different parametric vases in Grasshopper. And let's get started and take a look at the algorithm.